All right, my friends. Uh, what we have here is a uh, she slash her uh, that identifies by name as Lavender Lee. And yes, it is spelled that way. Lavender Lee. All right. She disguised her favorite colors. Purple. She's a millennial mom. Unfortunately, she does have a small child. It's a woman. It's a girl. It's a, a, a cisgendered uh, infant girl. All right. She's queer as fuck. Has a rainbow flag there. She has special skills. Uh, thrifting. And she loves sex. All right. She loves sex. I've seen her social media and she does have some some stuff there that indicates that she loves being uh queer you know and going you know the tongue between the middle fingers deal all right sorry to be crass now i'm recording this on friday uh november 4th of 2022 recording it at that time all right i'm gonna read you a post because when I first heard this, I thought it was some bullshit. I thought it was some motherfucker from Stormfront or, you know, some other, like, kind of racist. I thought it was a, basically, I thought it was a white person pretending to be black and shit. And I'm sorry for that and shit. You know, if anybody would, you know, any regular discerning person heard this shit, they wouldn't believe that, you know, a black person wrote this, you know. And, you know, I'm going to read the post now. It's going to be posted here throughout this uh, episode. This message is to all our wimpy accomplices and hand signals, air quotes, white allies. The message is to all white people who have, who have BLM in their bio. Lavender Lee says in the TikTok selfie video that has her Instagram handle and words, listen and learn at the top. If you really want to prove to black people that you love us and you care about us and you are down for the cause. Do not see that movie, Black Panther, Wakanda Forever opening weekend. You, white people, buy your ticket, give it to a black person or a black family who can't afford to go. Lavender, okay, I'm going to read that last part again. You, white people, buy your ticket, you give it to a black person or a black family who can't afford to go. Lavender Lee insists in the video. That's a TikTok video, by the way, that's been uh, removed, I'm told. Uh, and I couldn't find it anywhere, shit, okay? I couldn't find it. I wasn't looking for that shit, okay? Trust me on that one. All right. <laughs> you white people, buy your ticket. You give it to a black person or black family who can't afford to go. And then you go sit in, in that theater in front of the doors. You make sure that every black person in that theater can enjoy the movie in peace. You make sure that you use your body to block us from anyone who would be coming in that theater to do us harm. That is your job. You can go see it on another weekend. Go see it on the second or third weekend. But first, but the first weekend, that's for us. Black people. Which, you know, is it, a non sequitur to me and shit. Because the alphabet community self-identifies as a separate entity from the black community and racial identity does not play into it and shit in their politics and whatnot. All right. That's right. This is literally a black woman, a black self. She is self identifies as slash slee. She slash her. Excuse me. Excuse me. Not, you know, I know it sounds like I'm a little sauced. I trust you. Trust me. I'm not sauced. I wish I did have a bottle looking at this shit. Yeah. So, yeah, another black woman, a big fucking L. Big fucking L, right? I don't know what to make of it, man. And she's a mother. She's a mother. I don't know what the fuck's going on. Where is uh, Shabria Rolls when we need her? We need her to uh, work with her, her sister and to get them together and shit. They need to get it together. They need to self-evaluate and shit. You women, y'all need to evaluate yourself and shit. With this one. Y'all y'all need some checks and balances. This is fucked up. I mean, this is seriously fucked up, man. I thought that, like, this was a scam. I thought some bullshit. It's like some troll doing this. Maybe she is a troll. Maybe she's like one of these uh, swirlers or something. I don't know. I can't tell. The kid looks fully black. I'm looking at the fucking kid right now. I think I mean, she might have more than one kid. That's scary. And this is a black woman. It's a dark-skinned black woman. You know, prominent nose and lips. Uh, rather than she got this, the fucking shitty dreads, 
she got the bullshit, you know, thread, the new age, uh, you know, uh, dread hairdo, a couple of pictures, she's sitting up here in lingerie, and she's gay, All right, so that ain't for, you know, I'm saying that for the simps that's gonna go run and look her, look her up so they can see her dancing around in lingerie, alright, that's pretty fucked up, and I'm just tired of this bullshit in our community, this retarded bullshit, but I'm smart enough not to go further, you know, with this shit. I'm not going to posit any anecdotes or anything. I just, you know, I'm kind of worried, you know, where the black community is going. But I'm old enough to know that I won't be around when it uh, gets where it's going and shit, you know, at this rate. Pretty fucked up. And, and uh, I, th I think she's from Houston and shit. That's the third most fucked up place, apparently. You know, behind Chicago, number one, and Atlanta for fucked up out-of-pocket black people and shit. Have a nice day. Black Panther, Wakanda Forever, Rated PG-13, November 11th. Get tickets now. All right, go in peace. <laughs>